Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where together we're going to be jumping straight into the Bitcoin chart and I'm going to be explaining what I'm looking for next over the rest of the week to come. Currently in this short position for around $1.5 million, I'll be explaining the exact reasons why and the targets I can have for this trade. So I hope that you are thoroughly looking forward to this one. I'm just going to be going straight in, keeping it as always concise professional and to the point for you just giving you the key information that you need to know right now so i'm going to pick up this video where i left off my last one which was after we had obviously just rejected from that naked point of control so we obviously had those few targets in play so it was back in the end of november right but i had that 17,275 target being the npoc at the time on bitcoin and also that target on the es of 4,110 so obviously with both of those targets um they obviously both hit in the end right so <laughs> we had the rejection of the npoc on bitcoin with a nice lovely wick to the upside and that's what we call a reaction so we wait to see the reaction see that reaction obviously get a nice short position entry and then the same on the es we actually come up and hit that target 4110 4110 target was hit to the absolute dollar and that still remains the high even as we're speaking right now so those targets uh, were very much uh, respected perfectly and are still in play right now and it's actually like I said in this post over on Twitter and I really truly am saying this um, these months uh, I really am trading better than I have in my whole life I mentioned a level and it keeps on getting respected each and every time I'm loving the market environment at the moment there's obviously a lot of fear and emotions around and it just makes it so much easier to read the psychology in the market I mean yeah, literally, it does feel like a situation right now where I'm like mentioning a level and it's just getting absolutely perfect, really, perfectly respected. And I do not joke about that. I really mean this, that I am trading better these months than I ever have in my life. I am on, you know, I'm just to have, have full confidence in my trades right now and they're playing out really, really, really nicely. Uh, and, and it was kind of funny after those two targets that I mentioned, which got respected absolutely perfect, even on the ES, multi-trillion dollar market, right? And we got respected to the absolute dollar. Uh, I then gave my ne my level next levels to the team okay and I have the CC down here and as you can see the daily just above us so you can see that daily coming in at seventeen thousand one hundred and forty eight dollars as you can see posted on the second of September around 10 a.m. UK time one and only level above us is seventeen thousand one hundred and forty eight ladies and gentlemen this is what happened next okay just gonna add back on that level and we come up and we tested it to the exact dollar to the exact dollar we had another level respected that was in three in a row as you can see here okay uh after after calling the high of the es we then had the target above us on bitcoin of the daily above us and just as calling that we then get the exact dollar once again over on the bitcoin chart it was absolutely perfect and uh, it's like honest question are you even surprised anymore when we call the exact dollar level and it gets perfectly respected that's just a genuine question are, are you surprised anymore that we're giving these levels and they are getting respected each time to the exact dollar it's, it's absolutely lovely uh but obviously that then brought us gave us the high here of b and it gave me what looked at at the time of this really nice harmonic trade so obviously are you not entertained uh but we actually had this harmonic come into play right at the time looking for a gartley ended actually in a butterfly harmonic but the most important thing that we're recognizing here right is you have the x to a short trade off of b and i can show you the confluence that you had at b here it was actually the cc fib okay so you come into the cc fib and actually on the daily of course to the exact dollar right daily to the exact dollar we also hit but on that then you come back down and then from a to b you come into around the cc fib so then you've gone x a B off of the daily into the CC and then A, B back into the CC down here. So then next, you've obviously got a long trade position here and the targets can be, you know, two options. One option is around 17,250 being the Gartley harmonic and the second one is going to be around 17,380 being a butterfly harmonic and the butterfly harmonic is what you have in the end. And that's just, you know, not so much based off of the harmonic, but basically a failed auction above the high, right? So you come above, above X for the failed auction, and then that actually ends in the butterfly harmonic, okay? So then you've seen each step of the way how you're able to foresee this. X to A, you come up to B, which was our daily level at the time. We reject to the exact dollar off the daily, 
We then pull back to our value area low at the time and you get a lovely bounce off of that, which is also in confluence with the CC of A to B, that zone. From there, we start to get our bounce underway and we come up to fell auction the high of X. From here, we start to pull back. Okay, And from pulling back here, I get pretty simply gave to my team yesterday this. We are still range bound at the moment. For me now, the daily and that value area low is the liquidity zone that I'm targeting. Okay, so this is what it looked like at the time. Looking down for the value area low here, taking these lows onto that daily. So once again, I've just given it real simply to my team. Lowest level there is the value area low to hit that liquidity. And what happened next, ladies and gentlemen? Well, I'm about to show you as we hit then last night that value area low to uh, pretty much the exact dollar. It was, it was pretty perfect, but we then had that tap of the value area low, the level that I'd given just a few hours prior to everybody. Okay, zooming back over to this chart, we can see exactly what's happened since then. After that tap of the value area low, we actually got a large rise to the upside, and now we remain into this, still within the same range. So that was the quick walkthrough of the past, you know, really few days there of price action. The harmonic, which is now completed, and that's no longer going to be added to my chart. The daily, which is now also tapped. So what am I looking at next? Well, we can kind of see we have this really nice range currently. Actually, no, I'd like to just give one one announcement before I go on to what I'm looking at next. And this was a, a kind of a wholesome announcement <laughs> uh, that made us all very happy. And it was obviously we had the Chart Champions live event, right, uh, this this weekend over the over the course of the weekend, uh, the few days. And we had, you know, hundreds of members come out uh, to the event. It was obviously in London, the city of London. Uh, we had all of it organized, all of it you know, really well put together. And, you know, this was something that we were very proud of to be able to, you know, actually achieve and get it together. And, you know, the feedback was outstanding. And so, yeah, that was obviously by myself, the rest of the coaches here, you could see myself and Igor up at the podium, Victor, George, um, you know, we had the whole, whole of the coaches there. We had the whole of the team there. Uh, and then obviously the most important people that we had along with us were you guys, all of the uh, champions and contenders that come along too. Um, you know, come along. And I think I'm just going to echo some of my final words I said here. Obviously, it's it's amazing for myself and the other the rest of the team at Chart Champions to, you know, meet you guys and then and girls and, you know, put faces to the, the Discord name and then for the members themselves to be able to hear each other's stories, to hear, you know, the, uh, you know, the, the ups, the downs and the, the progress that people are making and new friendships being made. It's obviously absolutely wonderful for us. Um, you know, some of the comments have been just absolutely wonderful. I actually like this one a lot from uh, Chris. Uh, he says, what a great weekend. It was amazing to meet the team of coaches that is making it all possible, as well as the international and diverse family of members that are putting in the serious work and sharing their insights and stories while achieving or on the way to their dream. And yeah, I mean, this was absolutely incredible <laughs> everyone, with their, everyone with their chart champions lanyards here. But yeah, it was an absolutely wonderful uh, experience and uh, event, which yeah, maybe we'll do another one in in one year's time. But this was a nice way to end the year, have a little bit of a Christmas event for all the champions. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to everybody that could make it along. And uh, I obviously it sold out extremely quickly, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, maybe if we do another one next year, we'll have to increase the size here because people absolutely love that one. And and I, I, I also loved it too. It was something that I really enjoyed. It was great to meet you all. And uh, yeah, obviously had a lot of photos of you all, so it was brilliant. Uh, but yeah, just a quick shout out to everybody there and uh yeah obviously ended with the with the analysis all of that. that was enjoyable uh and yeah now moving on to exactly what i'm looking at next right uh so that what i'm looking at next is going to be basically i'm still trading this local range so we th th you know this is on a lower term time frame range but it's still got the higher term time frame uh like context the break of this range is going to be really decisive right so we have the resistance, in my opinion, around 17,150. This is locally 17,150. Would it be our value area high resistance? Obviously, I'm in that short position, but I actually want to still try and compound this more. Um, but yeah, 17,150 is my local level of resistance. Then above us, we have 17,555, 17,555 as that now would be our like next level to the upside resistance, okay? So it's always important that when we are inside of this environment that we recognize our next local level to the upside and then we'd be looking at if we break that. Of course, I'm never gonna forget this, which would be our CC Fibonacci level, right? So we have that CC around 17,200. So we'd have a few notable levels here 
above us and it's a level to level environment so what i'd say is if we break 17150 i'll look for the cc if we break that then i'm looking for the daily of course the daily is a much bigger level than the cc but nevertheless uh in this context just because of the fact that we come down so quickly but nevertheless uh it's a level to level game for me here just training the chart as it comes uh as i was making it very clear to people you at the end of the day you just have to have your alert check the reaction take the trade okay and it's either a yes or no answer of, of how we can take that trade okay so that's what i'll be looking at next for the uh for the upside in terms of the downside i also think it's fairly simple right now uh we obviously had that value area low support and if we lose that we can be looking at to the reverse cc and the other level that i'd be aware of is the swing failure pan okay and we could be looking for that around that 16k zone so we have the value area low below us which if we break down from we're looking for the swing failure pattern okay and if we do not get that then i'll be looking back down towards the cc or, or our lower levels okay so for me it is uh you know I, I must admit i approach this currently on the lower term time frame perspective with an absolutely neutral bias obviously i'm in that short position but for me this is a very small short position i'm not i'm not you know I'm, I'm happy if we break up from here and i can compound that short eg add more size higher up in the chart so um yeah for, for me it's a level to level environment i i am honestly totally neutral right now here on the lower term time frames i'm happy to see us break to the upside um or likewise if we if we move down i know my next level and potential long setup that i'd have there as well uh i did also scope along from that value area low i've already hit take profit one on that and you know basically I'm, I'm i'm to be honest expecting to get stopped out on the rest of the position but if we do manage to push up to the cc or daily then great i can actually close that short position that i'm in here locally i would close that and look to compound higher up with bigger size um so yeah i'm i'm, I'm in a very favorable position right now as i will always say how do i get into these favorable positions well it's the fact that i'm ready and waiting for these levels i see the reaction i take the trade no hesitation no fear no overriding emotions just like a robot see the trade set up take the trade execute and then i'll wait to see what happens next in the market you know i'm not actively trading right now at this second so i'm now waiting for the market to show its hand and see some more data and make my next informed decision i know my levels i'm now ready and waiting for the reaction it's like yesterday i knew the level while we were here i knew the only level that i wanted to trade wasn't uh, going to trade here and then i come down and i see the reaction i take the trade okay it's just the same as when i was wait ready and waiting for that daily right i knew that was my daily level i knew i wanted to take that trade and what happened next well we come up we hit the level to the exact dollar and we get a lovely reaction and another trade set up so as you can see here the levels that we're giving they are respected to the exact dollar <laughs> quite often uh but that's not the thing here that you know i'm trying to emphasize the main thing is it's having your analysis having your levels checking the reaction taking the trade okay obviously if you you know if you you lack that confidence and you you are struggling with the confidence inside your trades of course that's what we're here for at chart champions okay we've got the coaches only read only channels where you can you know have added confidence if you understand that other coaches are looking at the same trading setups as you and then if you actually are struggling in terms of the theory and learning how to mark out these harmonics how to do these fixed ranges how to mark out your daily levels fibonacci etc well then obviously we have the whole of the education over on our website where we've got live trade streams we've got the educational streams and we've obviously got all of the cheat sheets and templates which have took hours and hours of work to give to you so yeah for us if you are struggling with any of those problems well we have the solution for you over on the website so yeah if you are lacking confidence if you are just lacking knowledge well then you can start to fix that right now over at chartchampions.com come over say hello we got a big lovely family of people over here really supportive community everybody is just absolutely wonderful from the top to the bottom i would say everybody here is is really willing to lend a hand and, and really uh, you know assist you on your journey as at the end of the day we're all in the same journey together right we all want the same goals and so yeah uh if that's of interest to you, you can check it out over chartchampions.com final words and once again thank you for everybody that made it over it was absolutely wonderful i honestly enjoyed it so much and uh, yeah just thank you thank you thank you it was uh, amazing to meet so many 
champions and contenders so yeah thank you cc paul and um yeah cheers everybody i'm gonna just say one more time thank you thank you thank you it was absolutely wonderful and yeah if you want to actually watch back the live stream of course you can watch it all back over on the website so cheers everybody thank you have a brilliant rest of the rest of the week hope you're prepared and understanding of the next levels that i'm looking for and i'll catch you in the next one cheers thank you and goodbye of course, ending with the legal trade disclaimer, no financial advice in this video. You've got to do your own research and all trades are on paper demo account. Cheers. Bye.